Hi guys, it is Thursday at 1.17 p.m. And that means it's time to do some more streaming of Downfall. Couldn't get to it any sooner uh, because of work and stuff. So as per usual, we will wait until approximately the 10 minute mark because every time I say 10 minutes, it's like 18 minutes or like seven minutes or something. So approximately 10 minutes for people to start getting over here so they can participate in the stream if they so choose. I'm sure notifications are going out, or have gone out already, and we'll see who turns up. So if you're watching this on demand, you can skip forward until the game starts, or uh, just sit back and relax. I am doing this stream a little bit earlier than usual uh, for a Thursday, because uh, I wanted the... I wanted the ability to do a longer stream if I wanted to. Ah, crap. Because if I start at 2 and I go for 2 hours, it's 4 o'clock. And uh, usually I'll want to stop by about 4. Because uh, then life begins. Uh, but if I start at about 1.30, give me an extra half hour. Whatever. That almost 3 hour stream, that just somehow happened. <laughs> a couple of uh, streams ago. It was just almost three hours. I don't know how it happened. Uh, I was having such a great time. Too much fun. Ah, so in the meantime, let me pull up uh, one of the comments from uh, the last stream that we did. Uh, let me pull it up. It's on YouTube. Derp -derp -derp. And um, Somebody left a really, really cool comment that I just have to share with you all. And I love this. I really love this. This is why I want to hear your guys' feedback and how what your take on it <clears throat> is. Uh, especially, you know, if you have personal experience or whatnot. Let me go to a good one. Find it. Where is it? Aha! Okay, so this was a comment left on part two. And it was left by Fluffy Tree Clouds. He, uh, he, she says, The use of a monster that whispers to you makes me instantly think of the intrusive thoughts of someone with an uh, eating disorder, which they made very clear Ivy has eating problems in the prologue. The fact that in the first bit, Ivy said she looked in the mirror and saw a fat woman covered in blood makes me instantly think to someone with an aggressive eating disorder, and when they listen to the voice in their head, the part of that, uh, the part that the eating disorder has taken over, and they hear, you're not skinny enough, or you look terrible. No matter what they actually look like, they'll see a monster in the mirror. I'm speaking from personal experience, but I seem to, uh, I seem to see this is the case in most people who suffer with eating disorders. Um, yeah, and with other types of, with other types of mental disorders too, for sure. Um, just a guy is here. Welcome back, just a guy. And hey, Lepezzi, welcome. I don't think I've seen you in here before. Glad to have you. Uh, but yeah, the uh, intrusive thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So while we're waiting another couple of minutes for uh, people to start to gather, I want to pull up... Um, intrusive thoughts are like... Uh, they're unwanted thoughts or images that, w you will find that you find distressing or disturbing. These unwanted thoughts are known as obsessions. Intrusive thoughts can also result in compulsions, which are things you do to help you cope with the unwanted thoughts. That is... A different website than I wanted, but that sounds that sounds right. Associated with anxiety and depression. Uh, okay, I'm reading I'm reading through this little article right here, but I don't agree with a little bit of it. I don't know if it's if part of it is entirely true. This this one says that the content of unwanted intrusive thoughts. Oh, often. Okay. Not exclusively, but often focuses on sexual or violent or socially unacceptable images. People who, experiences, who experience unwanted intrusive thoughts are afraid that they might commit the acts they picture in their mind. They also fear that the thoughts mean something terrible about them. 
Intrusive thoughts consist of repetition. Some intrusive thoughts consist of rep repetitive doubts about a relationship, decisions, small or big, sexual orientation, identity, intrusive thoughts about your safety, death, or worries about questions that cannot be answered with certainty. So s I can totally see this uh, being very, very common when it comes to uh, eating disorders. That constant voice in your head telling you, you're ugly, you're fat, you're a bitch, like everyone hates you, you're disgusting, right? Because that's, that's the psychology of an eating disorder. That's also the psychology of like some people with major depression. Um, they th they're thinking the same things. Ark! Ark! Ark has arrived. He literally just got home from work. Well, see, y what you didn't know is that I have somebody watching you. And I knew that. That's why I started this stream right now. So. <laughs> unwanted thoughts, Ark. Ark put unwanted thoughts as in T-H-O-T-S. That hoe over there. Hello, hello, Sin! Yes, it is a little bit early. The whole reason we started a little little early... <laughs> Ark. Uh, the whole reason we started a little early is in case things are going really well, we can go on a little bit longer today. Yeah, major depression, people have intrusive thoughts. Um, I took uh, psychology in college. I was super, super interested in... Um, like mental disorders and stuff. So I've heard that some people feel like it's a different voice than their own. Intrusive thought is not a thought that you have produced yourself. Dark Chiron, holy shit, Dark Chiron is here. Oh my God. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> I didn't even see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even see you on there. I'm sorry. Uh, but some people describe those intrusive thoughts as having a different voice than their own, possibly a different gender than what they are, um, and not a thought that they have constructed consciously. That's why it's intrusive. It's like, it, it's almost like you hear voices, but not in a, in a schizophrenic sense, but not schizophrenic because in schizophrenia, it's auditory hallucinations. You hear it through your ears. like you, And with these uh, intrusive thoughts, you hear a voice in your head that you know is not, uh, you know is not auditory. It doesn't sound like somebody is standing next to you saying it. Yeah, I haven't been, you know, I haven't been doing a lot in YouTube. Because I'm really disgusted with everything that it's done for people who do do gaming and let's plays and everything like that. It's it's really really terrible. I I know of some very popular or were very popular YouTubers that they're they're. I mean, YouTube just basically shut them down. Just shut them down with their algorithm, and they don't give two shits. And I'm super disappointed. I. I hate YouTube, to be honest. I post these on uh, on YouTube because I know a lot of people can't catch it, and it's only saved for a short amount of time. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm doing these. It's only available for a short amount of time on uh, Twitch, and to be honest, okay, <laughs> here's where I have a little bit of feels. Um, I've I've gotten. Oh my goodness, what was that? <gasps> Ark. Ark, you are my first subscriber ever! Oh my god! I will remember you forever. It was it was because of the stalker comment, huh? You're trying to bribe me to get him away. But no, no, I think he's going to stay where he is. He's my agent. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of the feels is that... Uh, I've gotten comments saying that they watched some of my videos when they were a kid. Like, nine or like nine or ten years old and they're now 17 or whatever it is something close to that and like they remember that as part of their growing up and oh my god that touched my squishy little red heart so much um and i felt like what wow that like i'm actually leaving kind of a legacy here like even even how very very small that it is <laughs> no matter how small it is like 
This person in particular said that they were watching me play The Path at 9 or 10 years old. And I thought, holy shit. Oh my god. So like as a kid, he was learning like the method of critical thinking and asking questions and being observant uh, about your environment. And and it's, it's amazing. Dark Chiron, who is a Let's Player on YouTube and has been for a long time. In fact, Dark Chiron was one of the the people I watched before I even started and so he was kind of one of my um, role models I guess you could say. Uh, Doc Hiren says I get those comments too people who watched me over 10 years ago now it's what yeah it's such warm feelings it's amazing and uh, it's really really cool. Sin says he's gonna try to edit his book while we're watching okay we got oh no we have no time left uh, we're gonna start all right, let me get, whoops, stream. Yeah, still getting used to using Streamlabs, so hang tight a little bit. Where is Downfall? Where did I move it to? Okay. All right. Oh my God, Lepezzi, you actually listened to the Let's Read of the Yellow Wallpaper? Oh my God, I cannot believe that. That's so amazing. I thought that my Let's Reads were, were only, um, Onward and downward, yes, and I thought my Let's Reads were like probably the least popular things that I did, but I did it anyway because I thought that uh, it was important to demonstrate the thinking process. Aw, thanks, Chiron. Uh, Chiron says he... Oh, yeah, I, for I forget. I don't have to actually read the chat anymore. It displays... Oh, that's so neato speedo. Okay, we're... Onward and downward. Okay. <laughs> all right. Like I'm all pumped up with the feels, but uh, I'll be honest. When when I first started this stream 10 minutes ago, I was going to have to give a little disclaimer. Not feeling too great today, but we're going to push onward. And so as I've mentioned a few times before, I have, I have some problems with anxiety sometimes. And this is one of those days, like my hands are kind of shaking a little bit and the heart feels a little, or chest feels a little tight and stuff. So I may be a little bit more sensitive to what's going on in the game today. <laughs> Lepezzi learned a lot from, a lot about English and about mental illness from the Let's Read of the Yellow Wallpaper. That's amazing. That's so cool. Wow. Okay, let's live the game. So we just navigated the Queen of Maggots domain last time we played. We are now in a brand new room. Wait, 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 wait. no we didn't. No, no, no. Last time we blew the smoking guy up. We, we blew up that piece of shit who was making that poor Sophie feel like shit about herself. So we blew him up. We also blew up the, uh, we also blew up the, um, the overweight Sophie in the room of, uh, of, I guess, S Sophie suicides? I don't know, in the bathroom? So we navigated with uh, Agnes through it, and um, she's still not happy with her surroundings, so she's going to keep her eyes closed. Ark says he has anxiety issues too. It's always, sh yeah, shaky hands. Sometimes I start to burn up like I have a fever or something. Aw, oh, Lepezzi says it's okay, you're not alone. Thank you. I do feel much better that I have, you know, my guys here today. My people. My people here in chat. Yeah. Alright, so, first thing that we're going to notice is that all over the, uh, all over the, um, walls is written the exact same things that Ivy was hearing about herself from her monster. Uh, fat bitch, fat bitch, fat bitch, fat bitch. And we got a severed head on here. What else do we have going on in this room? Really old looking rocker. Some bricks that I guess were blown open in the wall. Okay, so let's investigate the severed head. Oh shit, that's a, ooh, ah, ooh. No, I'm not liking that today. Hmm. <laughs> Nobody that we know so far, I think. Rotten human head. It seems to be looking straight at me. Mm, eyes are one of the most uh, eyes are one of the first things to rot though so all that all that uh, decay oh who's that sin sin you so 
subbed. Awesome. That's so cool. Thank you. You are my second sub ever. You guys, I love you. I really do. Take recipe. Uh, eyes are always the first thing to decay with the amount of uh, decay going on around the mouth. That's not realistic. Eat me! Holy shit. Okay. Um. Take the recipe. I don't want to take that head yet. No. How about we How about we wait until that's absolutely necessary? Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, get out of it. Take head. I can't get out of it. I can't get out of it until I hit take head. Eat me. This is crazy, but the message carved on the head makes me think I should use it for something. You're still not looking, are you? Why? Is it okay to look now? Nope. No. No. Nothing to see here. Nothing at all. You know what the first thing that comes to mind when I see that is like this disgusting decaying head that says eat me is uh Chiron! Chiron, you're my buddy. <laughs> Thank you, I really appreciate it. Um the first thing that I think of is a form of like self hatred and self punishment that if I imagine myself in Ivy's position, she says, uh, okay, think about, think about the girl in the party room. The Sophie in the party room says, I'll just do the only thing that I can do. I'll eat and I'll eat because I'm a fat, disgusting pig. There's so much self-loathing in that, you know? And then you see this disgusting, rotten head that says, eat me. It's kind of like, I can see that as a form of punishment. I'm so disgusting. I hate the fact that I eat. So I'm going to punish myself by eating this disgusting head. Like, yeah, you guys get a, a spiffy rosy pad, uh, rosy badge. So I, I'm not really, I don't think I'm clearly articulating my thoughts, but I think that eat me might be very liter literal in terms of we have to feed it to a Sophie that's hating on herself. And I could just see that. I don't know, for some reason. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. Does that make sense? Does that make sense at all? <laughs> Yay, now there's three. FJ. Can't resist the little badge. Uh, I had a thought as well. I had a thought as well on something you talked about earlier about bulimia being more common in children. I wonder if it's because it's easier to hide. Interesting. Huh. Lepezzi? No worries. Like, don't don't even worry about it. I appreciate the thought, though. I appreciate the sentiment. Uh, just be... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly as Dark Chiron says. Okay. Uh, I appreciate that you're just here, and I definitely appreciate that you just like... Might like what I do. And especially that you like my old stuff that I kind of gave up on because I, I thought that, like, nobody cared. <laughs> Agnes would freak out if she knew that I took this with me. Not here. <sighs> okay, so we can leave. This is not going to lead us anywhere else. Let's have a reminder of everything that we have in our inventory. Castor oil, which I think you can use for cooking. Someone said it's for constipation. I, I, that is the extent of my knowledge of castor oil. The invitation, Joe Davis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The marijuana, a torn out page that we don't need anymore, I don't think, because it says... Yeah, 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 that's from before. We already blinded that painting. Okay, uh... Cigarettes we still have. We, we have gin. Forgot we had that. Oh, the recipe! Oh boy, let's see what this says. Oh, shit. I saw blend. My fattening smoothie recipe... Bleh, uh, bleh, uh, bleh, uh, bleh, gross. Castor oil will make you throw up. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, that's such a cute little emoji arc. I love it. Castor oil will make you throw up. Okay, I didn't know. When somebody said that it was uh, laxative, I was like, okay, I guess you could consume it. So, oh gosh! All right, so I I saw blend it. I saw blender on this and smoothie. So we're gonna have to use the blender that's in the kitchen for sure. Deep fried belly fat. Oh man, my tummy was not feeling well already, and now I'm just like. Ugh. One pint of castor oil, glass of spirit, one human head. Oh, I was not done with that. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
Glass of spirit, one human head, oregano, one leaf. Blend it together and enjoy! Oh shit, guys, do we have to give this to the Sophie in the party? Was I kind of... Was I kind of... Ipecac? I don't know, I have no idea what Ipecac is. Not the slightest clue. Alright. Ah! Bah! Fuck! <laughs> I totally forgot what was in this room, Jesus. Oh my god. I totally forgot what was in this room and was not mentally prepared for it. Uh, all that's left of her is this lump of fat. Oh god, this is... This is beyond disgusting right now. My tummy's not doing so great. <laughs> mm. Okay, so... I can't examine this, this douchebag? That's a shame. Let's go talk to the other Sophie. Yeah, dude, I completely forgot that that, that room looked like that. And... Okay. Let's see if there's a... I mean, I, I, I doubt that... Hey, that guy that broke your heart... Well, he's dead now. I, I doubt that will make her feel better, but... Let's just see if she says anything else. Don't look at me. Look at me. No. Okay, I have a very s sinking, sickening feeling that we're gonna be making this smoothie for her. Ipecac is also something I'll make you throw up. What? What is Ipecac? Is it a? Yeah. What is it? Is it a plant? Where is it? Uh, ground floor. We need to go to the kitchen. Oregano. Maybe we'll have- maybe we'll be using the marijuana instead of the oregano. Uh, this way. Making a poison drink? I don't know about making a poison drink, it's- I think it's making like a- like a self-hatred drink. Shit. Turn on the hob. There's nothing in the pot. It's empty, but I could use it for cooking. That recipe I found mentions deep fried belly fat. Oh, okay, okay. So deep fried, we're going to use the castor oil. Use. Oh, this sounds disgusting. So you're cooking us dinner now? No. It's not for us. Why are we Good. doing this? Good. Because you're not really meant to fry things in castor oil, you know. No. You're not? I think I'll try anyway. Huh. Okay. Maybe that's why she said that, is because it'll make you super sick. Oh, man. Yeah, disgusting. I'm glad he didn't need to go into any more <laughs> um, detail than that. It's a liquid. Believe it's often used by poison centers to induce vomiting. Oh. Ipecac. Yes, it is! Yes, it is. It is in Binding of Isaac. <laughs> I like the little Binding of Isaac face. Wait for it to fry, I guess. Do we even have everything? We don't have spirits. Yes, we do! We have gin! Alright. My problem here is that we found we found a random recipe that calls for batshit insane ingredients and preparation. And Joe's just like, yeah, let's do that. You know? Um, and he kind of, and he, in his dialogue right here, he makes it sound like he knows, he knows what he's doing. When in fact, I don't know what he's doing. Did, did, did he read this recipe and go, oh yeah, yeah, we gotta make this for the, for the lady in the party room. She said she wants to eat herself to death. We need to facilitate that. That's what we'll do. That's insane. That's insane. Why do we not even have an option in this? Why is there nothing... So hot, can't just stick my hand in there. Hey, I found this fork in the house with all the coffins. Oh yeah. You might want to use it for whatever you're doing there. Thanks. Does oil function like other like other oil? So we're giving her something that is going to throw her up. Throw her up. That's going to make her throw up. But. And now it's even more disgusting. So she's 
going to be eating the fat. Let's turn this off for safety reasons. What? No, we need to turn that off. Safety. Safety first. We're going to be, give, like, feeding her the fat of one of her other memories. That's gross. It's like your own fat. Right. Ugh. Oh, my God. Oh, so gross. So gross. Uh, I need some friggin... I don't even remember what it's called. These There's like a... Emmetrix? Emmetrol? Emmetrol. Let's put the fat in there. Yeah, fat first. Emmetrol is a medicine they sell at this store that, like, tries to get rid of nausea. Uh, what else goes in there? Oh, spirits. Spirits go in there. This hotel had the worst fried food I've ever had. One star on Yelp. <laughs> I think right now Agnes is is like I think not knowing is best. Yeah, let's use this instead of oregano. I knew it. I don't know why. Now we put a head. Because that head could totally fit in that blender. Uh You don't want to know. You don't want to know. Is that is nope. that a human head? Turn around. Close your eyes. If you don't like it, don't look. But why are hands. we doing this? Watch me. Why is he? S we need to put a lid on it. Oh dear God! Please tell me we put a lid on it, or else it doesn't just spray everywhere and coat us in. Oh my God! All right, you guys ready? Oh Jesus. I need some water. Something's missing? Recipe. One pint of castor oil. Castor oil needs to go in here too? Okay. Oh, of course. Yeah, because... Hmm. Oh, she's gonna puke this all up. It's gonna be awful. I made a smoothie this morning. I, I. You have to hold the head down with your hand. Oh my god. <laughs> Just hold it by the hair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I knew it. This is gonna. Uh... Is she crying? She might be crying. She's like, on second thought, maybe you shouldn't have brought me back. It's gonna splatter everywhere. It's gonna splatter everywhere. I think we'll find out later what they were saying. What? No! God damn you, Mikalski! God damn you! All right. I take it back. I said in the last stream. I said in the last stream. But that grinding noise, you know, give me it was too much. his best. And uh, I retract that statement. I know, but remember, we're doing this for Ivy. Pull yourself together. We've seen worse things here. This is our best shot, and we've got to take it. Is it, like, is this necessary for helping Ivy? I feel like tiny, tiny amount of criticism for uh, the game is like they failed to really convince me that this is a necessary thing that needs to happen. Our best. I mean, it does I say. Know. But remember, we're doing this for Ivy. Yeah, I know. 
She better be worth it. God. Come on then. And don't forget to take your smoothie. It said what we needed to kill all the Sophies, but it didn't specify exactly in what way. So why are we making it such a horrific way? Uh, yeah, beyond just saying kill four memories, they don't really play up the importance of what Joe's doing with these Sophies. Music changed. <sighs> you know where I'm gonna stop by? I'm gonna stop by the mirror room and take a good look at that mirror. Because supposedly it's cracked twice now. Has anything changed in here? Nah, I don't want to go in there. Nothing's changed. I'm sure nothing's changed. Those stairs are forever blocked. Alright, let's take a good look at this. Devil came through here. What do you think that means? Do you think that's talking about the hotel? The devil came through this hotel and it's... It makes me feel like I'm being watched. You have nothing else to say? Alright, fair enough, I guess. Uh, Lepezzi says Joe's convinced it's necessary and we are playing as him. Is the method of Sophie's death somehow tied to how they behave or personality traits they exhibit? Yes. I would say... Well, I'm not 100%. Sure. So the first Sophie that we saw... That we saw and killed. I think you may have saw that one, Chiron. Uh, she was just a little girl and she wanted to be injected with poison to die. And uh, the second one that we found was... Which one was it? Was it? Uh, shit, what was the second one? Was this the second one here? Yeah, this is the second one. I don't know how blowing her up had anything to do with it had anything to do with- I mean, when we found the Sophie in the bathroom, the bathroom that's now just a blood-soaked den of disease, uh, she didn't have- she didn't say anything. In fact, Joe just said that she was- she looked mostly dead already, and we ended up just blowing her up. Oh, she's gone. Oh, great. Maybe she got spooked by the explosion in the bathroom. Not spooked. But this did you notice that Harrison's body went missing from the home? Oh yes it did. I bet it's got something to do with her. Do you think she took it? But where? Uh hospital? Harrison's room? Her room? Uh I haven't the slightest idea. Her room? Hmm. Maybe. But we don't really know which room that is. There's gotta be some other place we could try first. Harrison's room, probably? Harrison's room? The one on the second floor? There's only one way to find out. Okay. Let's go. This one, however, uh, this Sophie that we're looking for right now was basically very, very down on herself about being ugly and being fat. And she got, she got turned down by Harrison, who's a piece of shit. And Harrison said some really mean things to her. Basically was telling her all of the worst things that she's thought about herself in her mind. That she's a pig and she's, you know, just really, really rejected her in the worst way. And so she said that she wanted to eat herself to death or something along those lines. Ivy! <gasps> Ivy! Hey! You're alive. Hey, Ivy. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> What's wrong with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. Sorry. <sighs> oh, shit. I was not prepared for that. Hmm. No, it's Ivy, just there on the floor. No. It's Ivy. Just there. On the floor. 
Really? Where? I can't see anything. She was there just a minute ago. I saw her. Get torn in half. <sighs> Joe, you're either losing the plot or... You really love her, don't you? She wanted me to let her go, but I just couldn't do it. She wanted me to let her go. But I just couldn't do it. No matter what, I could never stop her. The thing with us women is that sometimes we say one thing and mean exactly the opposite. Did you ever notice? Oh, that's dumb. Yeah, I guess. I wasn't there, so I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she didn't want you to go. Then I was right for once. Ha. I'd give you a medal if I had one. But I don't, so how about a fist bump? <laughs> Aw, remember when Ivy and Joe made up as kids they did a fist bump? Whew. Uh so <laughs> What room was this guy in? I think it... No, it was this one. It was this one right here. Yeah, do I need to turn down my mic in case in case I scream? I really hope that uh, my microphone or my program or something has some way of... Uh... Oh, it's you. Hello. Come in. Come in. Oh, aren't you going to say hello, darling? We bought visitors. Okay. You must forgive Harrison... Feeling a bit poorly today. Um. Sophie, this man is dead. Let's not play into her delusions. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it's just a legless carcass. Can't you see? Oh, sure, he's a little hurt. There's nothing a little bit of TLC won't cure, right? We've had a good talk. He's promised to change his ways. Now, he will never walk away from me again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> love those jokes. I love a. Uh, sure, he won't. He couldn't if he tried. Just put a scratch. Like it didn't blow your eardrums out, my screen. I don't need to turn it down or like find a way to... Oh no, come on. Why are we doing this? Like... I've got something for you. Oh, nice. I'm taking issue on this point of this part of the game. For a smoothie. My secret recipe! <laughs> I couldn't remember where I left it. Well, I've got it and I made it for you. Sweet. It's been one crazy day. I'm ravenous. I... I should be on a diet, but... I can stop them tomorrow, right? Just don't tell Harrison. But why do we have to even do it this way? Yeah, we gotta kill the Sophies, but why like this? Like... She seems happier now. You must forgive Harrison. I think he's feeling a bit dead today. Well, seeing as there's absolutely no other alternative. Son of a bitch. Oh. Mm. So good. Are you feeling that? Yes. Is anyone else feeling like yes. physically nauseous just watching this? I don't is it just me? Am I just sensitive? <laughs> in the aftertaste of my mouth. Let's get out of here. Hello. Oh. Let's get out of here. Oh. My stomach. I feel sick and bloated. What's happening to me? The first Sophie didn't drink anything. We gave her a syringe injection. 
She's gonna explode, huh? Hmm. What have we done, Joe? We did what we had to do. Okay, I guess it wasn't as horrible as it could have been. Oh boy. Okay, we don't need anything from this room. Alright, let's leave and never come back. I am ready. Oh, you... <clears throat> you snake. Jenny, do you realize how hard it is to wash blood off these carpets? <sighs> we just can't carry on like this. It's time for a serious talk. I'm headed back to my office upstairs. Please come and see me. I have a proposition for you. What if I'm not interested? You will be. Well, I'm not. Trust me. Why don't you just tell me right now? I no. agree with... Whatever she's got to say, do not trust this woman. Yeah? You don't just say. Feel it. She's not a real person. She one of the parasites? Remember that when we were talking to the Queen of Maggots, she was talking about parasites again and a lot of other stuff that we heard in the Cat Lady about blowing out candles and stuff? Uh, where was her office? Top, top floor? Maybe? I agree with Sin that compared to the other deaths and the other shit that's been going around, it was refreshingly understated. I like that. That's... Wait. Oh. This is... Oh, this is how we get to the house. Well... What? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is how we get to the manager's room. Right. Knock, knock. Just gonna check everyone. I think it I think it needed a little bit of muting. Not literally muted, but some Ah, oh, and here's my American boy. I knew you'd come, but I didn't think you'd bring a chaperone with you. I should kill you right here right now for all you've done to us. Um I don't know if we want to go full-on murderer. Like, that's not really... Ivy was worse? Yeah, Ivy was worse. You should have warned us. You should have told us to leave. But Joe, I'm running a business here. I can't just tell my guests to leave, can I? Now, that would be so rude. Yeah, Joe thinks she's responsible. Uh, even though she hasn't outright proven there's no proof so far that she's done any of this it's very very strongly implied implied i should kill you right here right now for all you've done to us what's stopping you joe i'm not a murderer good i'm glad that that's added as an option don't push me i want to find out what you know first i'm not a murderer no uh but wait isn't this young Sophie's blood on your jacket? She begged me for it. Frankly, I don't really care. But I do miss the cat. <laughs> of course she knows. Uh, it's time you've told me who you read. <laughs> Just for the record, I didn't kill the fucking cat. We all kill things we love. It's human nature. Either way, you should stop worrying about it. I'm sure poor Lucifer had a few lives left. He'll be just fine in his new incarnation. Lucifer? Lucifer, Midnight. Teacup. Teacup. Cats have many names. Don't Midnight. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chiron, actually, actually, we noticed that shadow on the wall of a, a woman hanging uh, in the last stream when she was not in the room. We found this room before. That's how I knew where it was. 
And uh, even when the room was completely empty, there was the uh, there was the uh, shadow of a woman hanging. It's time you've told me who you really are. You know very well who I am. I am your secret little desire, Joe. Your perfect woman. I'm never bitter or tired or not in the mood. Instead, I'm composed and strong and spontaneous. I don't burn you with my baggage of problems. I don't poison your life. I don't hide from you. Now is the perfect time for us to reconcile. No. To forget about that little bitch, Ivy. To run away and be happy. What do you say, Joe? I say you can go die in a fire. Or in a noose. Since it's more readily available. No. I'm not that kind of person. No, you're a good guy. After all, you did listen to your wife when she wanted to share her problems. Ooh. And you were always there for her. I but think no one is perfect, Joe. Sometimes even when we think we're right, we're so wrong. You know what? I helped you once before when I left that key on the desk. I'll help you again, just to prove that I'm not as evil as you seem to think. But let's play a little game first. I want you to follow me to a special place. We're not following you anywhere, right, Joe? The little mouse can talk. Hmm. You have a strange taste in women, Joe. I've got something you need. A perfect weapon. Just follow the trail. I'll be waiting. We're not gonna do it, are we? I know you don't trust her. But we might have no choice. A perfect weapon. Tempting. I was gonna say, uh, when she said you were willing to listen to uh, Ivy's problems when she wanted to talk, so th maybe is that because of decisions we made earlier in the game? Hmm. Also, this was uh, covered up when she was standing there, but it looks like some of the portrayals of like the devil as like a goat or something, right? Doesn't it? Hold on a sec, I need to check something. Huh, okay. Oh shit, I forgot that that crashes the game sometimes! <laughs> Quick save. Okay, so do you guys see yourself a little stars next to your names? You guys that subscribed? Or do you see a different picture? Because it's supposed to be a different picture. And I was supposed to have a really super cute little animation on the... Uh... Yeah, you see, you have a star? Okay. I thought it. I had. I thought I had said it as something else through Streamlabs, and also there's supposed to be a super cute little animation, like on the on the screen on the stream. I see stars. Did you see like a little animation that said so and so is now a subscriber? I have to ask in the middle of the stream because there's no way I can tell while I'm offline. The animation on stream played. What did it look like? Was it a zombie or was it an adorable little kitty? You saw a zombie? Oh, I'm so disappointed, Streamlabs. Streamlabs, you and I are going to have some talking to do after this stream is over. Uh, we're supposed to follow her to a special place? Is it here? Did she say? Did she say where it was? Yeah, I like that. There's nothing good back there. Sweet. And that's probably all we're going to see of uh, the Queen of Maggots in this game. I would not be surprised at all. Oh, look at that. It's a bloody something? A shoe. D oh my god. <laughs> I was like sitting there staring at the graphic like, what is that? And immediately above it in like bright white letters, shoe. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
Locked shut. So much for following the trail. This door leads to a staircase. She probably, g She's probably gone downstairs. Alright. And I would not be surprised if she goes back to, like, our house. Like, this house. This house right here. But that's not... I want to play again. Oh my god! Guys! 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 I have to tell you this little story that happened, uh, what was it? Yesterday! Yesterday when I was at work. Okay, I'm a massage therapist. I work at... Uh, I work at, like, a chain of, uh, places that, like, people come to get massages to. <clears throat> and we have individual treatment rooms. And, uh, the room basically just has a table, and then, like, the lights get, like, dim, right? Like, I can dim them so that people can relax without having the bright light, and they can fall asleep if they want. We also have music in the, um, we have music in the rooms. Like, soft little tranquil music. And, um, I can't, can I, I was in the middle of massaging that day, and I was, like, I was, like, in the mid-stroke of, like, working on somebody's neck, because they had knots in their neck, and I heard, oh, I heard the little ditty that he was playing on the piano. I swear to God, for four seconds, it was identical, and I... I froze. My whole body froze. And, like, I had this lightning speed of thoughts cross my mind. First one was, that sounds like the song from Down, uh, Downfall. And then, rapid fire, like, seriously, within fractions of seconds, I'm like, wait, that's really similar. It's identical. It's identical. And then I thought, is this real life? <laughs> I froze. I didn't know if I was dreaming. I didn't know... It totally messed with my mind. How does it go? How does it go? It's like, um, the little ditty he played on the piano. Oh my god. I mean, it eventually changed, but the first, like, four to five seconds of the song and, like, the main melody was exactly the same. It was extremely trippy. It was, tr I tripped. I froze because I got very uncomfortable and scared like is this a dream am i awake is this reality right now i couldn't believe what i was hearing i couldn't believe it turns out it only lasted for like four or five seconds but all right nothing's in here so she went oh we need to go to the stairwell we need to go to the stairwell lift and we only have the stairwell on the first floor i think I like that. Maybe downfall is reality and we're the game. Oh man, what a trip. Okay, to the stairwell. I have no idea what it's called. If it plays again, I will tell you it's this little piano ditty. So... Okay. Alright, another piece of... And she's leaving her clothes all over. Jesus, of course she is. A stocking? Do I have any presents in it? Black stocking. Clearly she's left it here for me. I don't give two shits about your stocking, lady. I do not. I'm not interested. Well, we're going the right way, so... Oh good, the uh, stove is off now. Oh jeez. This is gonna get real dark, I think. Another shoe. A secret passage inside a fridge? Hey, the pig is gone. Should I be surprised? <laughs> you shouldn't be surprised by anything at this point, Joe. Least of all... God. I knew it. White panties. We must be getting closer. She's already taken off most... We're already ta Sorry. She's already taken most of her clothes off. I need to stop talking so fast. 
What? I got the perf. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got. I got the achievement perf. Jeez, this is gonna get super dark. I think. Come on, Agnes. Just a second. No. No, 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 no. Don't get separated. Don't get separated. Turns out it was nothing. Hey, wait for me. Yep. I'm playing as Agnes now. Ah! Don't Joe, do that! Let me in! Don't leave me! Shit! Oh dear. Ah! Ah! <sighs> Whoa! Her reflection is Ivy! Oh, it's so deep. And the background is devil came through here. She obviously can't see it. Darkness this way. Well, all right, we're supposed to go back on ourselves then, and reality's gonna change. Yeah, yeah. Who didn't see that coming? All naked. What took you so long, Hansel? Oh my god, is there nudity? Is this gonna fuck my stream? Yeah. Okay. Welcome to my private bedroom, Joe. Come close. Mm -hmm. It's gonna get me in trouble, guys. G tab. <laughs> yeah. Uh. What do I do about this? <sighs> so you might get just watch going to YouTube, you might get Susaned. No, not what I meant to look at. Uh, there's no way of me just adding something onto the screen, can I? You can always stop the stream and play this without broadcast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. Okay, so nobody here report this. <laughs> okay. And, uh, I'll... I might need your help, Kyron, to be honest. I've failed at any type of editing I've had to do since I came back. So, whatever. Why won't you just explain all of this to me? What's there to explain? Isn't it obvious that we fancy each other? Isn't it obvious that I said no? No? Then tell me this. On your way here, when you found my panties, did you examine them? Yes, I examined them, but... <sighs> no. Liar. Yeah, I'm lying. You couldn't resist, and that's okay. But that's I not fair! I examine everything! But really, I just want to understand what's going on here. Oh. But didn't we already have this conversation? Twice. Uh, I want to know why you're sitting there naked. Well, I still didn't get any answers yet, but every time we do, time we do, you tell me exactly nothing. Um. Oh shit, I don't remember what she just said. What did she just say? Fuck. I'm too busy worrying about this. Um. Well, I still didn't get any answers. What do you expect from me, Joe? I'm not interested in fulfilling your little quest to save Ivy. If anything, I hope you fail. Then I can have you all to myself. Oh, 
Why are you trying to seduce me? Because you and me are a perfect match, Joe. We are meant to be together.